So, grabando, grabando, the second conversation behind the scenes talk about Fanatic, my most recent, recently published book where I write poetry inspired or based on arts and other forms of entertainment. Y ahora mismo estoy en vía telefónica with my good friend Christian Lee Villanueva. How are you doing, my dude? I am doing. I am alive. He ocupado. Um, was working it every day, and my hands hurt, but that's good. I don't feel guilty about trying to sleep, whether or not I succeed. No sé qué lenguaje a grabarlo. So shout out to all my code switching comrades. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Spanish, English. We're doing Spanglish. We're doing everything, dude. So. No hay problema con eso. Now, with that being said, eh, we have collaborated in the past. Y se puede decir que fue con el first baby step towards making Fanatic. Y eso fue cuando I wrote Jaguar and you made the cover. So, I wanted to ask uh, first, ¿cómo te fue esa primera experiencia doing the cover for Jaguar? Uh, it was really fun. I really wanted to do book covers. That's something that I thought I wanted to do. And it was really interesting because, like, oh, well, I get to do one for a poetry book. And it's, and it's her for someone who's local and who I'm, I'm actually very engaged by what they do, both thematically and, oh, wow, you can, you can do that with poetry. And, and it's physical. And the, the, that's pretty bomb. Uh, it was interesting because it's, It, it, it was also a really good step towards actually trusting that the other person, in this case, said, shout out whatever he had. Um, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a nice experience of, mira, mira, este es el tema, a fiesta, go wild, have fun with it. Do you think you could, could do that? Jeez, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to have fun with all of this Catholic guilt. And it was fun. I Part of it was, of course, the, the reading it, the... What are the visuals of this book? Or how do I want to approach it? And uh, the Jaguar itself was, uh, that, that, that alone had such a, had such a big cue of, of what the, like, where to start looking for visual references, how to make it very graphic and striking and, and to the point. And actually, fun fact, here's some behind the scenes lore, the way that I got, like, that shot of you to put at the top of it, of the cover was, In your video on Beastman for Dan Ciego. Oh, shit. And, uh, yeah. And it, it was interesting. I I was already toying with certain elements to add color, but it wasn't... It has color, but it wasn't a colored color, if that makes sense. Because I, I was still really immature when it came to that. I was still very dead set on, no, only ink. So I, I was I was still kind of fumbling on a project to project basis with how I wanted to approach that because I was really more of a of a line art and contrast type of process. Yeah, yeah, y de hecho el que la persona que vea el cover will definitely see eh, your style mezclado with the inspiration for the name of the book. Um, but that being said, when I asked you to do this cover, porque yo me acuerdo que para aquel libro yo creo que te había dado un, un draft of the book, pero para este I don't think I ever gave you one. I just told you, hey, go wild, because I trust your vision. So. Yeah, okay. So, in este caso, sí, el proceso fue mucho más aquí está el el I guess so, no se pone palabra pero here's 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 the, the overview of what this is, what's gonna be in this what's the what's the spice that that we're gonna really cook these these poems out of so then it kind of became sort of a where you're exploring your theme with with uh, with words I had the blurbs of okay fanatic guessing it's your guy so fanatic hacia qué direcciones, what kind of images do we want to go for? And so it went from that sort of surface level of, okay, we want, we want it to be an homage to the thing that, 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 
that you were in this case. Fortunately, I'm also a fan of. And from there, from from, from there it went. Uh, from from there it became a rabbit hole of okay, so if it's going to be about being a fan, I associate that with with niches. What kind of things am I into? And then it just became a uh, kind of like. What kind of clutter in a room would you find if you just hoarded all of the things that you've ever been interested in? And how to arrange them in a way that's, that's interesting, and even though it's clutter, it's, it's not a cluttered composition. I mean, I, I remember organizing this, I also, and so that, for example, El Juego de Jenga would be on the spine of the book. Yeah, yeah. And, because uh, it's not so that was also really fun. Thankfully for this, I already have a, I already have a process that I learned as a result of, of being a one person production of comics. So I already knew how I wanted to approach it, coloring wise. And then from there, once that part was done, I did a bunch of different palettes to see, huh, which one punches the best and in which direction because all the just mm-hmm. really different mood from clear skies to psychedelic to nuclear fallout mm-hmm. yeah yeah he de verdad que again el cover ends up being not only psychedelic looking pero it's just a ton of fun to watch que I don't know, if you're a fan of comics, you piensa like, que this is a comic book, but I think you would buy it by accident, sin problema, and I don't know if you had a problem with that, pero el mero hecho de que el libro te da a pensar como que it's going to be a fun book, which is in part what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, como que I love the fact that you capture that essence in the in the book. Thank so, you, thank you. I'm glad to hear As I really, like, to turn, for me, it was an issue of, okay, regardless of what is inside, the cover is not going to lie to you about what you're going to get content and theme-wise. Yeah, yeah, o sea, el hecho de que, este, to this day, ya yo tengo como que, o sea, I have the, the digital file, pero tengo también una copia del book como tal. And the fact that I can still find... Lo, little nuggets, little uh-huh. details. Thank you. Like, ahorita mismo me di cuenta que pusiste un yo-yo y yo como que, okay, perfect. This yeah. Is, this is Chris. <laughs> this is definitely Chris. <laughs> little bit, yeah. I'm just putting like that. Uh, uh, that. That was a lot of fun for me because, I mean, it's, on one hand, it was easy to draw in the sense that, like, oh, right, I'm used to playing with yo-yos and that's a butterfly shit because you're specifically for, for, uh, used in four of the five categories of yo-yo and, and, Um, a lot of the fun was the specificity, whether it be like, for example, what kind of cartridges are, are, are spread throughout, if you can kind of read the title. The, 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 the brightest part of the book, the one that takes most of the composition where it has you and, and the microphone and everything, that's, that's, that's what you, everyone's going to notice that first plan. Right? That's, the, that's, the, that's the centerpiece. But I do appreciate covers or this art I guess in general that has that element of every time you look at it you kind of go huh yeah como que hmm hay okay, como que más cosita pa ver well, déjame déjame oh, checar yeah. déjame checar oh yeah Wu-Tang is forever <laughs> exacto exacto <laughs> y ahora que lo veo otra vez I just noticed that you put a Gundam in there too Damn. called out <laughs> yeah no había dado cuenta But uh, much appreciated because I was a fan of Gundam Wing and G Gundam back in the day. So yeah, I mean, you you, you you can't. No matter what you're into, you cannot dispute that it takes a certain amount of dedication when it comes to being a fan. Like you can't just kind of be a fan of Gundam. You have to really be a fan to not only just the price of admission, but the patience and the engagement of building it. Right. So you 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 go from 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 buying what you might pejoratively call a toy to just being an engineer after seven hours and mm. numerous hot glue burns. Yeah, 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 Lider. I don't say I. Into the past Metal Gear. Yeah, it's a whole experience. I mean, fuck. <clears throat> so, um, that being said, dude, uh, para el que no sepa, you're a 
a comic who does comics. So yeah, yeah, because life got up for confusion and you have poverty for free. <laughs> so let people know what's going on right now. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so um, for a hot minute now, my focus has been uh, I'm either drawing comics or if I'm not drawing, I'm taking a break to rest my hands in, in that sense. Um, I'm writing jokes. Uh, so currently, the, the, the two things that I'm juggling in that sense, and I, juggling makes it sound way clumsier than it is. It's just sort of, I guess, resting one part of, of, of my engagement with art to work on another. So I'm currently working, as far as drawing is concerned, uh, on a webcomic called Hear Me Dragons! Uh, which you can find on webtoons.com as part of their short story contest. They, uh, part two just came out a few days ago uh, out of a five-part story. And it's free to read. You know, go, go tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbor without, you know, breaking the social distancing. And uh, when I'm not doing that, I'm, 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 writing, I'm writing jokes, which... Uh, the way I like to organize it, since I, I, I use my phone's writing app a lot, I I have some folders that are just for jokes and they come. Whether it be a, whether it be a character exploration, uh, anecdotal, or a wordplay, which I feel, which I'm not going to lie to you, I, I love using wordplay, and people have to listen to you when you're on stage, but I feel like that's really fun for me because it's very, it's, it's very formula, not formulaic, but it, it's, it's very technical in the sense of whether you find it funny or not, which ideally, yes, it has a certain element of construction. There's a logic to, there's a logic to the construction of that sort of joke. Um, but then, but then outside of just, just jokes or outside of just jokes and math, whatever the theme might be, I mean, that's not why I've been writing a lot of, a lot of, uh, D and D and, and vampire type of jokes, but uh, I'm also working on an a short album. Uh, I I had I had the the, the the title just in my back pocket for a while, but after after realizing oh I have a lot of I have a lot of jokes that follow this this same theme. I've been writing I've been writing them slowly. But I, I've been simmering in the theme of that. So every so often I'll write like a food related joke. And, and I'll add that to the folder. And once once I have enough material and I actually sit down, arrange it so that there's a certain logic where one joke bleeds into the other, just like a good musical album has that sort of finesse to it, it of, of being this very like, um, constructed as a unit sort of situation, I'd, I'd, I'd like to record it. And I guess it, it, since it has to be from home in these trying times, that's an excuse to not have a crowd in front of me. Um, since arranging that sort of thing for a special is tricky. But yeah, I'm um, just so to um, straighten out the spaghetti that I just said for the past few minutes. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm drawing here the dragons for webtoons on yes, for, 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 for the short story contest. And I have been writing jokes on the side, both miscellaneous and for an album which details will come out when it is ready. But I, I, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna say too much before there's anything to actually think of it into. Nice, nice, nice. And don't say where can people connect with you to stay up to date with everything? Right. So uh on social media, as far as I can say, um you can you can find me at Pixelate to Work on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. And uh, 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 whatever thing you can think of, just that's gonna, that's gonna be my, be my moniker. Um, something that I am posting on the daily is uh, to warm up, so that I guarantee that no matter no matter what, no matter what my excuse for, oh no, I, I woke up and I've been carried away by by by, by, a, by, by a horde of ants. Um, I I draw this thing called uh, the, the daily post punk. So hashtag daily post punk. I I just I I, I do a little I, I do a, a warm up every day. I'll just like draw some goth related thing. So that's something you can look forward to if you want to have like a little little piece of art you can count on every day. Awesome, awesome. But man, that that's what I had in mind as far as the conversation. So everybody, get the cuchando. Christian Lee is the 
is the artist yeah. behind the cover for Fanatic. He also did the cover for Jaguar, the first book in the Fanatic series. And as mentioned previously, he's a comic who also makes comics. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna second plug. So I do have a YouTube. I still, I I I, I still I still don't, don't don't have like a like a, like a steady stream of this is what, this is what I want to make. But I, whenever I do need anything that requires a sort of media, I, I use it. Um, I I made I recorded an album um in December. It's it's a split between comedy and poetry. It's called This Lean Has Sounds in It. It's um. And you, uh, it, it'll be the first thing that pops up. You, you'll notice the, the yellow card again on the cover. And uh, so there's that. Uh, I, do ha I, I do have a clip of my stand-up that I recorded in Asheville just before, you know, we, we entered whatever this year proposed us to be. <laughs> so so you, can, you, can, you can find my album a little comedy there. And, yeah, that, uh, that, that, that's it. Um Hit that like, smash that subscribe, hit the little bell to get notification. <laughs> of course, of course. So, Tamo said, bro, pixelate for work on all platforms, right? Yes. Perfect. Thanks for doing this, man. I love you. Likewise. Take it easy. Take it. We'll talk forever. <laughs>